Hey, hi there, hello, how are you? I hope you're having an absolutely fan-freaking-tastic day. Today, I'm going to get absolutely smacked off of these Exhale HHC gummies and then uh, show you all some of my absolutely favorite or most recent, some are ridiculous, high buys. And uh, I think that I have uh, maybe $420 worth. But about a week ago, I tried the Delta 8 um, gummies from Exhale, and they were so freaking delicious, and they worked so well, and I had such like an amazing vibe, and it was such like a good feeling that I can still recall, that I could still remember, so I figured why not try 100 milligrams of their HHC and see how that plays out. If you say that Delta 9 is 100%, just giving it like an absolute value, there are other cannabinoids that are in fact stronger, but saying like regular weed is Delta 9 100%, they say that Delta 8 is about 60% as psychoactive, which I totally agree with. I would probably go within like 50 to 60%, but probably because I've built up a bit of a tolerance. I've been taking Delta 8. I'm Almost daily for like a year. So I have built up a little bit of a tolerance. Um, and then on the other side of things, we have HHC, where they say is about 80% as psychoactive as regular weed. So um, it's supposed to be more than the Delta 8, but less than the regular. 100 milligrams of HHC would be equal to me taking an 80 milligram edible um, of a regular weed thing from like a dispensary or something that maybe you made at home in your little ardent machine or something along those lines. I am not good on 80 milligrams. <laughs> regular weed. I'll, I'll be completely honest. I am a, light, a little bit of a lightweight. I mean, it took me a year to build up at all a tolerance for Delta 8. They're still very effective for me, so there's by no means am I stopping using Delta 8, but I know that it's not very accessible for everybody. It's becoming, Delta 8 is illegal in maybe it's like 13 or 18 states right now, whereas HHC is fully legal to be shipped. It's basically like CBD um, under all of the guidelines and under the laws. It's totally legal to be shipped to all 50 United States. It has 0.0% THC in it. I know the person on the internet is telling you that you can order things and have them delivered to your house and it's blowing your mind right now. You can Google it and say, is HHC legal or legal to ship? And it's going to tell you emphatically yes, because I have done so much research on this and um, yeah, it's fully legal. So in order to get this ball rolling, I better start consuming some of these because then we're going to need to come back in a little while, I think in about an hour, so that I can show you all of these amazing things that I have. I'm so excited about it. There are some that are absolutely ridiculous. Some that I find will be helpful, I promise. These are 25 milligrams of HHC in each gummy. These are vegan and freaking delicious. I had one last night just to kind of test and see like where 25 milligrams would put me and how I felt and holy, if 25 milligrams did to me what, what happened last night, 100 milligrams is gonna be freaking wild. I probably shouldn't even try 100. But since I used 100 milligrams of the Delta 8, I kind of want to compare them a little bit apples to apples, you know? Especially because it's the same brand. I feel like I can actually compare, like, is HHC about 80% as psychoactive as regular Delta 9? Is it better than Delta 8? Like, what is going on here? Um, there's so many in here. They're, like, packed in here. I couldn't get it out. These are so pretty, though. Look at what a pretty color that is. And they like kind of mash. Let me get another one so I can show you. They're all like different flavors and colors and stuff. It's like a mixed fruit thing, but they kind of like, sm no. Okay, you can actually tell that they smash weird. They don't have gelatin in them, but they're still like held together in a somehow gelatinous manner. I, I think it's called like pectin. It falls apart better in your mouth and it doesn't stick to your teeth. That's actually a good thing. I hate when things stick to my teeth. It's like, I don't know. It's like a weird thing of mine. Um, okay, so that was three, right? I hope that was three. <laughs> I want this red one, though. Oh, the natural flavors in here are elderberry, kiwi, blueberry, guava, and strawberry. They use, like, all uh, organic ingredients, all natural ingredients. Everything is really solid. It kind of feels like a luxury, like, black tie kind of a brand, but they're not, like, crazy, crazy expensive either. Actually, if you go onto their website, I'll about eat that. Um, all right, so we are four gummies down. It is currently, it's currently 2.08. I'll be back at probably about like 3.30 and we'll evaluate where we're at, how we're feeling and what we're doing and um, jump into some of these sweet high buys. So I'll see you in a little bit. We are back and um, I got, it's been a long time actually. It is now 4.30. I feel like I am at the absolute peak right now. 
I'm at the point where I had to convince myself to finish this video. I'm sorry, my mouth is so dry I have to suck on this candy. But I guess I would say then that yes, this is stronger than Delta 8 because the Delta 8 video, I felt like I was still very um, in control. Like physiologically, my body is getting worked up like i have some anxiety right now i think that was definitely too high of a dose because last night it took just 25 milligrams and it was like smooth sailing easy absolute wonderful experience this is definitely too high i wouldn't do this i do not suggest it however i have convinced myself that we are going to finish this video so i'm gonna show you some of these things that i bought i don't even know where to start like there's no category <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna start with my stash bag. So this is by Revelry Supply. I actually got it on the Canabox website. I believe it was $50. I'll put the price of the things on the screen. It's so cute on, and it's like this gray canvas with this like faux leather and I don't know, the zipper, and it's smell proof, obviously. That's kind of like the whole draw. But even like the lining of it is super duper cute. It's still like very unisex because my husband wore it when we were in Disney and I wore it when we were down there as well. Just has like a lot of little pouches. Yeah, it's just like a stoner fanny pack. I'll put a picture over here. It's so damn cute. Even the little like latch and the way it tightens and it's little leather. I just I freaking love this thing. Okay, next up, let's just get the snacks out of the way. I have been addicted to these Takis Fuego lately, and they're so hot that I can convince myself that I can eat like seven total max. That's it. And then my mouth is like hellfire for the next half hour. I had been eating so many of them that last night I started to get like a cut on the side of my mouth that was like rubbing raw. So then I saw at Target yesterday this guacamole variety and it says that it's mild and these bitches are not mild. These are still spicy as fuck, but they are so they are so good. Oh, I guess I could kind of categorize some of these. So this is like my small business one. I ordered from Pirate Girl Smoke Shop, which is which, which is a brand that I ordered. Um, I did like that Christmas. Um, my heartbeat is beating really fast right now, and I have so such bad dry mouth. And oh my god. Okay, Pirate Girl Smoke Shop. So I got this leaf blue leaf bowl because i've never had one that's actually shaped like a pot leaf so i was real excited about that and then i also got this a bunch of you suggested that i get the proper like dab cap for smoking vapes in a bong so like you would stick it this way and your vape would be facing facing upwards so that you're not like hitting it with it facing directly down because it clogs my vapes up so bad and I didn't even realize that this was a thing. I feel like this is one of those really simple and cheap, I think it was eight dollars or something, smoke accessories that you kind of have to have. It's another one of those, there's so many amazing cheap stoner accessories but that seems to be one of them. This next thing is my most recent one, the Puffco Peak hot knife in the brand new i can't i forget what they call it like indigo indigo glow but it's so damn pretty and i have always wanted one of these but i just couldn't rationalize spending money on it for some reason like the cheapest one that i found that was like really good quality was i think 45 or 50 dollars i saw this it was 65 dollars. i think it's a little bit more expensive than their regular um their like classic colored but i already used it once and it was so good, but I'm too high to be able to do any more session for today, so I'm just going to show it to you. It has a ceramic tip. Grab your stuff, and you hold it over top of your banger, and you hold this button down for... It just turns itself off whenever it's ready, but it drops the hit, like your concentrate in like 1.2 seconds. It's so fast. It's crazy. I don't know how it could possibly get that hot that fast it was so freaking cool to use the way that it sits on your table it doesn't touch your table and then it has its own cap and it's super easy to clean yeah it's like perfect okay so this next thing is going to be the most practical stoner thing that you would need and this is the mason berger lamp you get to pick out your own like style lamp and top and stuff like they have a bunch of pre-made styles you don't get to like customize it but you know what i mean you get like this liquid that's like an air purifying one and you take this off and you maybe i shouldn't like this right now i'm so high you light it up and it's like a 
a freaking like torch flame for a couple minutes and then it kind of dies down a little bit after five minutes you blow it out and you just put this cap on and you leave it on for 20 minutes and it draws in nasty smells from the air but it like purifies the air with this liquid but you have to make sure that you recap it Otherwise, it just like evaporates away and I lost like an entire container because I forgot to do that, which sucked. If you smoked and somebody's coming over in an hour, like you need to do something about it. This thing is freaking great for it. And um, so far, it's worked every single time. My parents never know. Never know. The next thing is my most expensive and least worth it buy. And I kind of feel bad house plant the brand that seth rogan owns it's just called it's called the ashtray set and i got it in moss green i think i spent 110 dollars on it um i'm not entirely sure why because i very rarely smoke papers <laughs> i actually smoke prefer to always smoke out of a bong um so i've used it a couple times when i'm smoking my king palms i like set my air plant in this one this one's just like a vase we're gonna redo the living room and then I think like we can build it into some of the decor in there. And then the other one's also holding a little air plant. But this one is the side that you would like rest your joint on. And then with the ashtray. And then the ashtray actually sits inside this bowl but I have weed inside the bowl right now. I don't know, I'll just set it in there. It's not gonna hurt anything. It's supposed to sit like that. It's super cute, I just, I don't know. It was kind of a frivolous ridiculous purchase <laughs> if i was high and i got the email that said that it was restocked i definitely bought it clearly but if i was not then i would have rationalized that i didn't need to do that okay just a couple more left this is way too much i wish i didn't take a hundred i think i'm gonna save the most ridiculous thing for last this next thing is something that i just think a lot of people will appreciate and it has nothing to do with being a stoner whatsoever these laundry soap sheets i get them via like mail subscription so i think it's like ten dollars every other month or something like that i'll put the price on the screen I'm probably wrong right now okay this is what they look like this is one like you can tear it in half if you have a small load or you can use a whole sheet if it's a large load wherever you dump your laundry soap you stick it in there as soon as it touches water it like it disintegrates into soap I got them because they're eco-friendly they get sent in this recyclable little pouch so there's not like giant plastic jugs because that's like a really big danger for the environment but also because i have a shoulder injury that i got like two weeks a couple weeks before covid so then everybody shut down for like mri scans or you know like whatever i needed so it's healed totally messed up so i couldn't even carry the laundry soap like out of the cupboard to use it it like hurt too much so i got these because they're a lot easier Easier on me if you can't lift a whole lot or if it's challenging to like lift and pour and measure it all this would be super helpful or if you're like traveling to and from the laundromat that jug that you have to drag around with you is such a pain in the ass like a sheet would be so much easier to bring with you I freaking love these things <laughs> I figured you might appreciate it I feel like a lot of you are in like my demographic or my um that i like this stuff i don't know okay so the next thing is actually an adult e type item and this is the kiss canoe cbc cbd intimacy lube this stuff it's just great it's just helps you to relax i guess and then also kind of guards against any like if you have like sensitivity like maybe around scar tissue or something like that it just kind of helps to numb like that kind of painful sensation but it doesn't like numb like that you know it's not like a numbing cream at all it's just cbd okay last two things if you don't already have one of these you need to get one it's like filled with that um bean it's like bean or barley or something you can microwave it or you could put it in the fridge but i always microwave it for a few seconds and then put it on your face it is like being in a spa but it also just kind of helps like your if you have sinus pressure or a headache a eyeball aches it's like anything it's just so relaxing and comforting and warm and it's just like if you have especially if you have like a hard time going to sleep and it's weighted then on your face so it just feels really nice so get yourself one of these and then the very last thing is my most ridiculous purchase it's a disco ball i didn't realize it was going to be this small they were so damn expensive have you ever looked up a disco disco ball on Amazon like this is one of the cheapest ones that I found and I think it was $38 and it's like the size of my hand how just dis freaking disappointing is this and it doesn't even have like a rotating thing on the top so like how's it supposed to spin like I had it just hanging up there and it did absolutely 
fuck all. Yeah, I definitely would have done a better job picking one out. I'm sure if I was not high, I probably would have realized the dimensions of this and how small this truly is. I probably would have done a better job because especially this one, is this what all disco balls look like? Can you like, is there no grout? <laughs> Do we not grout disco balls? It just doesn't look right. It just looks really shoddy, right? I should have tried to return it. I'm sure that I'm out of, well, I might not be out of the window. I did get it for Christmas. That was all my high buys. That was all my ridiculous purchases. I will put the grand total of everything over here just because out of sheer curiosity, I wanna know um, the damage and maybe it will prevent me from doing this again, although it likely won't. It'll help a little bit. Maybe it'll actually make me question it just for an extra second. As far as the exhale gummies go, 100 was too much. 100 was far too much for me. I definitely should not ever go above 50. I would suggest that if you are new or to like HHC in general, or if you have like a low tolerance in general, maybe start at like a half of a gummy and see how you feel. And I do like that everybody can get them. Like everybody in the United States is allowed to purchase this. So that's cool. Thank you all so damn much for being here. Love you all. I will have a link down below. There's no code, but when you go on their site, go to that banner at the very top, save 20%. Let me know what ridiculous high buys you guys got down below because I'm always curious what kind of absolutely amazing or terrible or hilarious or ridiculous things other people buy and it'll make me feel better about mine. <laughs> Love you all so damn much. I'll see you next time. Bye.